So a hot fix was applied today. Bare minimum changes to be honest, so it wasn't really worth a video covering it as that's done right now with this video as the main changer was to a weapon I reviewed not long ago and to be honest I tore a new one and rightfully so. It was terrible and what made it worse was the fact this web slinger is a reward from the latest Guardian takedown raid. Yet it offers nothing great, well it does offer one thing decent but nothing great for a weapon you plan on shooting. So Gearbox have gone and give it a buff, give it a damage buff. Today we test it again. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So right now on screen we can see what this weapon was like on Mayhem 10 before this buff. And as you can see it's literally just tickling enemies. I mean it has issues breaking the air around enemies, it's that weak. And honestly it pissed me off because it's still the only reward I've received from this uh, raid running it numerous times, the only new legendary anyway. So that in reality made me slightly bitter, I won't lie. So as you can see the weapon just straight up struggles and that shouldn't be the case. It's one of the weakest weapons I've used and it was rewarded from one of the hardest activities in history. So the buff has been applied. So what's changed? Well it had a damage increase and a magazine increase at the same time. Now shooting a test on me for a crit shot, we can see we are getting a damage number prior to this buff, just over 5000. Post patch, buff applied, we can see we are doing a little over 7000. So here we are roughly seeing around that 40% damage increase, which I guess is decent for sure. Max size we see receiving around that 60% increase mark too, which is a great increase. You see yourself with massive mags when other benefits come into play like magazine perks on artifacts and whatever. So going back into the slaughter shaft, same weapon, same Mayhem 10 mods, we can see it's definitely a better weapon in terms of laying down damage. So using this for about 3 hours now since the heart fix was applied, I feel with the right anointments it could indeed be a semi decent weapon, I ain't gonna say amazing, I'd pull it just below average. I mean it won't be amazing no matter what role you get, what anointment you get on it. There's only one thing this is amazing for and we'll speak about that at the end. Now there are other anointments which this weapon can come with, there's a 2 times variant, I have heard there's a 4 times variant, one I haven't seen yet. But a 2 times variant, I have one thanks to a pal of mine, Rubes Magoobies, shout out to him for sending me this version. But still using it within Slaughter Shaft, same modifiers, Mayhem 10, I still don't feel it's anything more than a decent weapon. It's for sure now not the worst in the game, the 2 times variant obviously deals more damage, but it's at a cost of way 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 more ammo. I mean this thing burns through ammo for little in return and unless you use a build such as my Chaosin build where you literally get infinite ammo, places like the Slaughter Shaft you will run dry before you're finishing the first round. Now I've been sent this version also, so thanks to my other power rem, and it has uh, one of the better anointments for my setup, and going back into the Slaughter Shaft, same thing people. This just tickles the enemy's balls while they stand there laughing at you. So yes, even after the recent buff, I still feel weapon wise it's a little disappointing for a reward from the new raid. But hey, that is just my opinion. Now there is a neat little trick with this thing which allows you to do crazy stupid high jumps, to wall run, jump crazy distances, but it only really works when that low gravity mode is on. So within the Guardian takedowns, pretty cool. And Skywell 27 on Promethea works well too. All you do is just simply run up to a wall, shoot it and jump at the same time, time it right and you'll see yourself flying. But like I said, low gravity only, I mean it works everywhere else but it's nowhere near as effective as what it is when that low gravity comes into play. Now this is the actual thing I think this weapon was put into the game for, to allow people to experiment I guess, to allow people to explore I guess. But people, and this is a massive but, them hiring the damage, more or less, They've nerfed the weapon, because now all it does is damage you even more when you're trying to jump or explore. Because even still with this damage buff, a 40% damage buff, even if it was a 100% damage buff, I still don't feel the weapon would be capable. And you ain't going to use it over other assault rifles in the game. I mean the OPQ system, what's that? Mayhem 10 variants about 9.5k times 2. What's this? 1800? Maybe 1500 times 2? There's your damage difference. So using this as a viable Mayhem 10 weapon to lay down that damage isn't really an option and it probably never will be. And I think this weapon was put into a game for a different matter. And maybe for parkouring, maybe for exploring, 
And if that's the case, then it's a decent weapon for that. Anything else, it's a no-go. So then buffing the weapon, increasing its magazine size, yes, that's decent, but increasing its damage, it does nothing but nerf the weapon for what you're going to use it for. The only way around this is, is get a low level version, I mean a level 1 version. I mean I thought about using a shock version with a transformer, but for some reason it just doesn't seem to allow you to jump high. I think because the transformer and it absorbs shock, it absorbs the boost at the same time, so you just cannot jump high with it. But hey, you give it a test and tell me what you think. So yeah guys, what we have here is the web slinger. A slightly better weapon than what it was before in terms of damage output, but in terms of the actual weapon and its true benefits of what it offered, it's now worse than what it was. Try and get your head around that. But yeah guys, if you want a weapon where you can pretend to be Peter Parker all day long, this is that thing. Just stay clear of enemies. Because when it comes to combat, this ain't what you want with you. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.